Hi. So the last video, I mentioned the word trash, and then I apologized because I thought, you know, your narcissist might cheat on you with a perfectly lovely girl. Okay? I'm not trash, and I was in his cycle. So I didn't mean to imply that they're all trash. However, some, of, some people are trash. They're just trash. They're cheating on each other. They're cheating on their boyfriend with your narcissist, and their boyfriend's married, and they're all doing drugs together, and it's just this big, seedy, ugly, trashy world, okay? If you find that your narcissist entered into that kind of world and is keeping that kind of company, and you know that you're exquisite, a question might be, oh my God, why? What were you thinking? How could you leave me for that? Which, that's a question I had. They will never, ever be able to answer you, as I stated in the last video. They will never be able to answer you, but I can answer you. I can answer you. I know exactly why, because I've watched enough videos and done the legwork, and I can tell you why. They, if you really are exquisite which you know you are you know your strength girl you know your strength maybe you got a promotion at work maybe you've been working out maybe you're a good-hearted person you know you are you got solid relationship with your family and friends you're you're a good person right all of the aforementioned successes will make your narcissist cringe with envy they will detest it they will feel their loserness punctuated by your winnerness. You follow me? So they in turn now to make themselves feel powerful need to go out and date down what they consider down from even them. They think they're grandiose and they might not be at all. They might not be at all grandiose, but they think they are. So they're going to maybe leave you for a millisecond and go and pick, we're just going to use the word trash. If you don't fit into that category, then you're not who I'm talking to. But we all know, okay? And I think that devious people who go after somebody's man and they're all in that world of, I mean, come on, that's trashy. So they're going to pick that. It's kind of like dumbing down. So you're dating down so that they feel better about themselves. You follow what I'm saying? It can make unsuccessful horrible people and I say unsuccessful because money is very important to the narcissist in my opinion it's inside that a person right so if they're a horrible person and they're unsuccessful and they know it deep down inside they're gonna go out and seek somebody way lesser than your exquisite nature so that they feel better about themselves and they can manipulate that person and they can have power over that person and they can feel superior to that person and they cannot feel like a loser honest to god it really is that simple the better you do in life is the worse they're going to feel the worse they're going to feel even though they picked you for your magnificence because they want to try to draw from from you that energy as the emotional vampire that they are. They want to take that on. You don't just take on someone's good qualities. You have to live that world and make choices one step in front of the other to be a good person. They can't just brush up against you and get your goodness, even though they think that they can. Well, once they're with you a while and now they're bored and now they're feeling uneasy and they're seeing just how good you are, that's why, that's where... That's where the, the torture comes in for them. And they're going to go out and try to seek somebody that's lesser than them in their mind because they can control that person. Now, chances are the person they pick is going to have really low self-esteem. That's kind of what happened when, they, when, when you let them in, yes? Self-esteem isn't a constant. We all go through ebbs and flows throughout our lifetime where we might have a weaker day. We're not feeling a great great about ourselves or we're feeling great another day or they catch you at a weak moment and they manipulate you and they got in that doesn't mean that's your fate forever get it back girl or boy whoever I'm talking to get it back you know who you are and once you get your self-esteem back and you start rolling with it that's when you're gonna see them reach out to someone that might seem lesser than you in terms of being a stellar human being and that's because they want to feel good about themselves. So they're going to date down. 
they're going to reach down for what they think is down from them. You follow what I'm saying? And I'm not calling anyone down or up or anything. If you are a good-hearted person and you know it inside, then you are a good-hearted person and that's all that counts. But they're going to reach not for the stars if your goodness is making them feel uneasy and punctuating their non-goodness they're going to reach for someone that might even be worse than they are another narcissist so that they feel better about themselves and they don't it might even like erase for them what they did to you not that they care but it might be like oh i'm playing with someone who's the same as me Maybe I can just exist here for a while and there's no pressure and there's no having to answer questions and this person's not going to ask me anything or challenge me or, or, or try to get the control back. They're going to allow me to manipulate them. It's, it's where they want to exist for a while. So when you continually ask yourself, why would you leave me for that? Think of that. They would never ever be able to tell you that. They'll just tell you they needed change or strange or variety. No. If it's exorbitantly not a good person compared to, to you, that's, I figured out, that is exactly why. They want to have power. They want to feel like a king again. And so they're going to date down. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. It doesn't say anything about you except you are remarkable. That's what it says about you. Okay. Keep that in mind.